<laughs> Welcome to the Sam Livecast. Wait, I'm not in the center. Uh, there you go. I wasn't <laughs> in the center. Welcome back, everyone. What up? <clears throat> Happy to be How here. How's everybody? It's been a while. It's been a week. Hey, everyone's been good. What's up, everybody? It's good to be back. How yeah, you it's doing? It's been a long time. It has. Everybody's in place. Kelly's over there. Mm-hmm. How are you, baby? I am good. She just walked in from work. Good to see you. A little frazzled, but good. Uh, why are you frazzled? Why do you look a little blurry? Does she look a little blurry? Does everything look a little blurry? Is it me? I've been running. Sure, it's not you. Go to that shot of. It's just uh, mom's camera. It's go it, to the shot. Lynn will go out there and uh, Shan, we got push Shan, the connection Shan together. Right it's the ki- yeah, yeah. It is blurry. It's like welcome to the same live cast. Everybody. Wait a second, I we've been gone for a week. We so haven't I'm, gone for a week. Wait, I can't help it. It's like somebody rubbed Vaseline on that camera. On Leave that me lens. blurry. No, Please, I don't want I like her that. blurry. <laughs> She's pretty, and I want her to be in all her beautifulness. It's just the connection. Uh oh. Lynn just needs to. There you go. See. Oh, I like Uh-oh. that. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Look okay, weird to me. I'm you... sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Lee, you know what? Why? Why do you get so mad? When I'm not. I do no, that? I just. No, you, no. Wait, no. Admit it. You get a little mad when I want to take care of little details like that. No, we've just been been gone for a week. I just want to like I start did. a normal show. I was excited. <laughs> Trust me, sweetheart. This is a normal show. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it is. Come on now. <laughs> Lynn and you were back there. Let me see your happy faces. Lynn is uh here he comes. We're happy we're here. We're you good. happy, Lynn? What's up? Yep, Max, you happy? I'm very happy. I'd be happier if every single person out there would go to Facebook.com slash Sam the Cooking Guy and like the page, comment, tell your friends, tell everybody to go watch right now, and then also while you're at it, go to iTunes and subscribe. <clears throat> Thank you. And I don't know if you can see them, if you get a wide shot. We've got two rabbis here tonight, by the way. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Can you see them? Hold on. Check yeah, this there out. You go. Okay. Check this out. We don't have one rabbi in the house. We have two rabbis in the house. Both the, both the same last name. Both married. Can you imagine the kids in that family? <laughs> you don't just get crap from one rabbi parent. You get crap from two rabbi parents. <laughs> what must that be like? It's got to be difficult, don't you think? Yeah. Anyway, I'm, sh- I'm sure studying for their bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs was very <laughs> it was easy. Very easy. Oh, Kelly's anyway. green now, by the way. Rabbis Burke and Burke. Yeah, Kelly just went green. The Rabbis Burke and Burke worse. from my synagogue are here. Just hanging out watching the live cast. How many other live cast shows like this have two rabbis watching at the same time right there in the same room? Not too many. Hey, you want to know what? You want to see the result of two rabbis trying to mess with connections at the very be- top of a show? Yes. You get a green camera. Oh, no. Are you saying that's what it's? No, Lynn's trying to fix it right now. Trying. I like it. Oh, I like the way you did that. You completely blame. You know what? That's like, <laughs> what was that movie with Carol Ann? Poltergeist. That's the TV starting to do that. Remember Carol Ann? They're here. Tell everybody what it you were watching to that. today when I came over. I was watching the remake of The Omen. You were? Yeah, I love it. In the middle of the day. No, while I was getting <laughs> uh, while I was getting my stuff set up. Good lucky. Like the <laughs> rabbis. Like he's checking it out. <laughs> like he's coming here. He has, zero, he, has, he has zero concept of personal That's space. That's embarrassing. Like he he does over have here. no concept of personal space. You're right. That's a dog who thinks he's a cat. Yep. <laughs> That's so Sunny used to be like five pounds. And now uh, that he's 25, <laughs> he still is like trying to sleep on my chest and climb all around the bed. And Jilly can't even lift him up anymore to move him. Wait, is this Sonny your pocket beagle? Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Matt, will you, let's just say this first. Yeah. We all love your dog, Sonny, your beagle. Uh-huh. But you were lied to at the place that you I bought was, him from. yes. And I we think, all I knew it. We knew it, too. By the way. Thanks for telling me. By the way. <laughs> wait, what? After you bought the dog and you told us, uh-huh. mom was online within like five seconds checking out the place. Pocket Beagle. Oh, yeah. And kept reading from people saying, oh, it was supposed to be this little thing. Yeah. And it wasn't. The guys, it's complete bullshit. Yeah. Oops, so sorry. I think we sorry, think sorry. Now, no, we think now that he just makes up names. He does make up names. But doesn't Pocket Beagle sound like an amazing, cute little... Of course. Like hamster-sized thing. That That's like saying, <laughs> yeah, here you go. Here's a teacup golden retriever. Right. <laughs> and it is a teacup while it's like three days yeah, old. exactly. And then it becomes a 60-pound golden. No, that's like what it was. Me. It was a small batch of puppies, and so they capitalized on it. It was a <laughs> shitty place. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't purchase a puppy from them again. No. Um, we do love the dog, though. Uh, we, exactly. We got really lucky that and we you got do an a amazing good job dog. With yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, speaking of me... 
give me an opportunity just to read some some email that I got about myself. Yes, please. You get email. You you want to share this kind of stuff. Of course. Uh, let's see. This is from a guy named Frank Akers. Frank writes, <clears throat> Thanks for bringing about the worst cooking show on the internet. <laughs> This show is about Sam and has very little to do with cooking and much to do about Sam the man who is, in my opinion, an unbearable egomaniac selling crap and maintaining Sam's lifestyle, which, in my opinion, stinks. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> what is your lifestyle? Hold on, hold on. Sam lifestyle. But then a lot of things coming east from the west, but then a lot of things coming east from the west are superficial and should be kept local. What? So wait, he's from... He's I assume he's someplace east of here. He's some real east, east coaster who looks down on us Californians. I'm an, un, I'm an unbearable egomaniac selling crap. What crap am I selling? <laughs> oh, I'm selling uh, We Olive Oil. Uh-huh. Sorry. Not a crap. sponsor. Not and crap. Fixtures Living. And the, re- the only reason they could that be we considered ha- a sponsor. The only reason we do sell crap... <laughs> it's not crap. The only reason we do sell anything is because we don't want to have to sell the show to you guys. We bring right. it to you for free. That's the reason. I, we could bring it to you for free. Worst cooking show on the internet. But then you'd have to pay. Worst cooking show on the internet that two days ago was the number uh, two. Was the number one podcast in the food. Number two. Food section. I'm holding my fingers up. Number two. Wait, we were number one in something. No, we were... Oh, we had the number one episode. Oh, we had... In the top 10 episodes mm-hmm. the other day, we had three of the top 10, including the number one mm-hmm. uh, episode in the food category on video on iTunes. Now, look at iTunes is like the stock market, and it changes. It ebbs, it flows, it up mm-hmm. and down. But so, sorry, three in the top 10, Frank Ayers. I don't think that could be considered the worst cooking show on the internet. Nope. <laughs> Amen. Episode was the spaghetti one. Uh, another email. This is from John Figaro. Wait, which I, by the sorry, which by the way was amazing. And don't get turned off by the by the word spaghetti and thinking that it's just you know oh just boring, spaghetti, plain sorry. boring spaghetti. It's blue cheese. This is a spaghetti you know with blue cheese. Blue cheese spinach. By yeah, the way, I forget cheese. to put the spinach in the until the last minute. That just proves that everything works out. I forgot to. The technique that I was planning to do with this is just in the last minute of boiling the spaghetti. You dump a bag of spinach in there. You let it finish for a minute, and then you drain it, and then you've got spaghetti with spinach in it, or penne, or whatever kind of noodles you want to use. I forgot to put the spinach in. <laughs> so I gave myself another one minute and sauteed it in a little pan with some oil to it all softened, and then I threw it in. It was really super good. Yeah, it was. And those nuts, I think we improvised with some hazelnuts. They were supposed to be walnuts, and I didn't. I thought and I did. And they it. turned out to be hazel, right? I had hazelnuts, and they were really good. That's yeah, great. it's, it's a great recipe. TheSamLiveCast.com. That's all you got to do. Go there and check everything out, and it's right there for the taking. Blue cheese. Uh, and another email from John Figueroa. John writes, I can't believe Sam is on the air. You call that cooking? <laughs> He's a klutz and cooks like a grade school kid. What a joke. I mean, <laughs> yeah, what a joke. By the way, John Figueroa, klutz is not spelled C-L-U-T-S. There's a Z in there, and I'm not going to tell you where it is. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. Klutz, that's what he wrote. <laughs> and um, from episode 224, the sun-dried tomato pizza things that we recently did in the middle of it, I took people and showed them that this is my house, in fact, and behind that wall right there mm-hmm. is my dining room. The comment from that episode was, dining room, so messy, disgusting. What? So strange. I'm sorry. Read that again. Dining room, so messy, disgusting. (gasps) Do you know what it was? Is Is there a way that Lynn can can find that shot? Yes. From episode 224 and just freeze on it. If you go, I think while uh, you're, while a you're little bit that. towards the end is yes. when we're in the dining hall, and you'll be able to see dining hall, dining while room. The, while the stuff went into the uh, yeah, while the stuff went. That into is this. me. You know what it was? I think there was. I think we had cleaned up the kitchen. And put I, some I take. Stuff I take every there. so often. I take a couple of things from here and put them in there. Of course. When we're shooting in here to keep this neat, but the fact that somebody actually called that out, jeez. Was it before or after you cooked? Uh, it was, it's uh, like while, the the, while those things were in the oven. Yeah. Well, now yeah. N- now I realize what it is. Yes, it's like the bags with the bread uh, and we just We just clarified that. You don't have to be defensive. Well, now you're going to show it. <laughs> no, no, no. We're gonna, of course mess. we're going to show it. But the point <laughs> is, 
Somebody called that out? You're used in the kitchen. This is not that? a messy house. Oh, look, I've been in messy houses. I grew up with a kid whose house was like a... Yeah. Well, it's like a train wreck. Uh, aren't, isn't that interesting when some houses are just like that and then some houses are so cluttered and things everywhere? Oh, God. I'm telling you, this kid's house, I won't say his name. This kid's house, unbelievable. I've never seen anything. Here, like we, go. Here let's we go. See, right. Let's see how messy. House or not, this is my house. Here's my living room, my dining room, which oh. is messy oh. because I, I take that's it. a couple of Monica and presents. stuff that's usually in the kitchen and bags extra of stuff and bring it in here. Like shooting racks. <laughs> Did you see that I had to pull away <laughs> from the light? Yeah. And here's you could have moved your body. Um, that was it. That was so messy. I don't know. And you even acknowledged that it was messy because of that. Well, I hope he doesn't look at my car, man. That's unbelievable. <laughs> my car is terrible. <laughs> hey, I, uh, I, I, you know, so I sit down and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to make today. Mm -hmm. And it's cold as shit here. Sorry, rabbis. Oops. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Wait. Sorry, continue. Let me take that back and rethink this again. It was cold as ice here today in San Diego. <laughs> Do you know this morning it was 20 degrees colder than it was in New York? What? Here. It was 20 degrees yeah. colder this morning than it was in New York City. On my iPhone in the weather app, I've got San Diego and New yeah. York City right next to each other. Yeah. And I was flipping through and I was like, there's got to be something wrong because San Diego's way colder than New no. York right now. It and was in the middle of the night. It was insanely cold. So I'm thinking I want to make some food. I'm thinking I want to make some comfort food because that's kind of what I feel like. That would be good. And I start going through those things. I'm like, shepherd's pie. Oh my, I make a really oh, good shepherd's I pie. I love your shepherd's pie. Thank you. Except when I make my shepherd's pie, I put bacon and the mashed potatoes on top of it. The rabbis are coming today. I'm like, I might not be making the shepherd's pie. I'm going down the list. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I make that has bacon in it. <laughs> you think? And, and the, the, the um, I don't know how to differentiate between the male Rabbi Berg, the senior. Are you older of the two? No. Oh. So I can't use that line. <laughs> the husband. Sorry. Now that I now look what I've done. Now that <laughs> only by a few months. Uh, so Rabbi Burke and I had uh, we chatted in his study a couple weeks ago at the, the synagogue, and, and we were talking. And I said, you know, I believe, and this way I, it was is my opinion. I don't know that I was. It was meant to be a discussion point, but I said, I believe that God looks down and He thinks. It's more important what's in your heart than what's in your stomach. At least that's the point of view that I operate from as I put bacon in my mashed potatoes <laughs> that go on top of my cheese. Uh, <laughs> I finished it off by saying, look, I think the, the other things that are important in life that God looks at on a piece of paper, takes his pen, you look, you get there one day, I'm not exactly sure how it works, I don't know any of us do, but I imagine you get there. I'm hoping it's like you're checking into a to a nice hotel. Hello, Mr. Zion. Welcome. <laughs> yes, good evening. How are you? Welcome to the, you know, whatever, the Four Seasons Forever. <laughs> four seasons. The Forever for Seasons. <laughs> are you the Forever That's Seasons? The forever Seasons. That's good. <laughs> are you checking in? Okay. I hope so. Because at that point, you don't exactly know what's your, your last name, sir. And you say Zion. And they start looking down the list. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And your name's on that list if you've done things right. If you've been a good guy, if you've if you've uh, you've been involved in charity, and you've done the right thing, and you you hold the door open for seniors as they're going through a store. You don't just slam the door on their elderly fingers and make them have to push it themselves. And you're good to little kids and mankind, and you do all you do the right thing. You hope that your name is on the forever seasons list if that kind of stuff happens. You don't want to get there and have them go, oh, yes, sir. Are you checking in? Yes. Smith, 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 Smith. Hmm. Hmm. I'll just check this page. Smith, Smith. Hmm. Well, we have one more book that we can check. Hold on. <laughs> and they bring that one and they go, oh, here you are. No, you're not at the forever seasons. You're at the forever motel six. <laughs> It's just down the street and it's got cigarette burns on the sheets and thin floors and you hear the guy walking on the floor above you and people making noise in the room next door and it's a little bit of an odor and like that iron stain in the bottom of the sink. Yeah. I don't want that. I want the Forever Seasons version. I want 800 thread count sheets. 
and billowy curtains that look out into palm trees and ocean beyond and stuff like that. <clears throat> you really given this some thought, haven't you? I have given this some thought. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's getting in. I can promise you. Uh, for that. all the thought, for all the thought you put into it, you sure focus on arguing semantics about the bacon. <laughs> well, here's the <laughs> here's the thing. The point is, I'm hoping that my getting on that list, all the bacon nonsense, <laughs> has been overlooked by the other things that that I have done and will continue to do in my life. Not the least of which is having two rabbis here watching the show tonight when they asked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How do you say no to that? <laughs> no, but I'm honored that the rabbi is a fan of the show and wants to come watch and hang out. There you go. Oh, yeah. He actually wanted to wa come watch the TV show Pink Shop. I just said, sorry, I don't have a TV show right now anymore, so you can't. <laughs> Let's bring you here. Uh, but while we're talking about, uh, about God-like things, just let me say, get serious for just a second. A uh, friend of mine, and I, I didn't tell you this, Kelly, and I'll, I'll talk about who it is later. Um, and you can ask me, and I'm not going to tell you on the air. A friend of mine's wife found out that she had breast cancer in December. Mm -hmm. She had a double mastectomy on Friday. And you just found this out today? Yeah, I found this out today. Yeah. And um, her message and his message now, he feels almost nearly evangelical about this. Women have to check. If you don't check, you have to check. If you don't know how to check, call the doctor, look on the internet, have somebody tell you. You have to check yourself. You have to do it often. The littlest change, you have to catch that early enough. Amen. It's going to be okay, but it's still a difficult situation. And I'm telling you, it's a lot better where it is now than it was five years ago. But if you can help prevent, if you can self-diagnose early enough, and that's probably not the right term, and I don't know what to say, you have to do that. You have to do that. And he's in a great state right now. His wife's in a great state of mind, but it is what it is. It's still a very serious situation, but it has to, you have to do this stuff. I won't talk about that anymore, sorry. No problem. So we had the picture contest a while ago. Yes. Tried to encourage people to take better pictures. We came down to a final four. Try to, just, try to encourage people try to, to encourage take better you to take better pictures. You mean berate it's, people from not taking good enough well, pictures? People were taking terrible food pictures. <laughs> terrible food pictures. <laughs> and so we've decided what we needed to do. We we're going to encourage them by having a contest. We've got the final four. We took the final four, and rather than just... Had the final four. Had, we just, rather than just say, well, we'll pick the best one out of you four, or go take a picture... We told them they had to take a picture of a grill, grilled cheese something. Hmm. So now we're going to have two go against two. Our first two are tonight, Maxie. Yes, but really quickly before we go into this, um, we had four finalists, and one of them did not respond uh, in the last week when they were supposed to. Uh, oh, you know. okay. So here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We will go through the other, the, the other original picture sender inners. Mm -hmm. What would you call those people? Sub original submission submissions contestants. thank you <laughs> submitter people <laughs> S no i said sender inners <laughs> that doesn't joke. work <laughs> the original submission contestants. submitters entrance. contestants entrance thank you entrance. entrance we'll pick from one of them and we'll email them and tell them they'll get in the <laughs> we're the, smart the other, the other half right <laughs> yep i'm hoping that that forever four seasons list doesn't have anything about intelligence on it because <laughs> i may not be getting the room that i want <laughs> um but so what were you going to say? You're so we have say two. We're gonna we go have the first the, two tonight. Yeah, but we'll, we'll pick somebody. Person? Okay. After we'll pick somebody, we'll notify them. If you really want, I mean, if, if you're out there and you really would no. want to take that fourth spot, you may be, you can write an impassioned case on Facebook and I'll take <laughs> it into consideration. No, that's not fair. Why is that not fair? Because we'll have to take somebody who submitted before. And that's jump what around. we have to do. You're not going to be happy with them. I, I know I'm not going to be happy. Well, maybe they, then if their work is as bad as before, then they don't have a chance. That's oh, fine. Geez. Perhaps okay. they've learned something. All right. The first picture that... We will be going on. No last names, please. We'll be please. going over in the final four. No names, please. Okay. No names? No okay, names, no please. names. The first picture is this beautiful. Wait, stop for a second. Oh. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. You're the worst. Can I do one thing? Yes. Can I just go just throw some ground beef in a pan? Of course. Nobody needs to follow me. I can describe it as nothing you have to see. Oh, oh, go ahead. Thank you. I can go over there. No, no, no. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. <laughs> yeah, you can just stay on tripod, Shannon. 
There's no point. I'm just coming back. I just I just wanted to get this started. Okay, so the first picture. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this guy. I can didn't you believe touch it. That's him? all I'm saying. Who cleaned this last? Not me. <laughs> Don't blame the Asian guy, man. <laughs> Here's the deal. You, have I talked about how sensitive I am about my walks? Yeah, I accidentally put soap in it one time. Well, look what happened. So, see, I can tell you right now, the first thing I noticed, I put a layer of oil in here when I put it away to keep it from rusting. God forbid there should be a droplet of water left in. The, the oil will keep that from happening. But this black in here, it, it came silver, essentially. And this black builds up over time. Mm. It's called... Um, Seasoning, not like you sprinkle on stuff, but like a cast iron pan would be seasoned. Of course, they come black. But these are layers of food that build up over time that essentially make it nonstick. But look what I just noticed right here. Here, do you know what that is? Oh, it's good. Apart Piece from being food. a bad <laughs> fingernail, no, it's it? not food. It's scrape. And look at Lucky's going crazy. That's a scrape. That's a scrape of down to the metal. Oh. And. Oh. Ooh. And here too. So you have to re-season oh, that? No. Well, I think I know oh. who did it. Who did this? Obviously the housekeeper. Why would you say that? Because No, I don't need this out for her. That... Why are you always oh, trying to no, throw her under the We've bus? We've got an actually, interloper upstairs. I was just going to say, I know who it was, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the interloper. <laughs> has, has she used this? I don't know. Who else would have used it? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, are we ready right. for the pictures? No, no, I'm almost ready. Oh, do you want, oh, you want to wait till we get, till you get back to the chair? <laughs> you can put, go ahead. No, you can, I I can look. I can look quickly. So th I'm just going to say, this is like a couple pounds of ground beef. That's all it is. Just straight in. Straight in. Well, I'm, I'm going to let it start to do its thing. And by the way, it's 80-20, meaning 80% meat, 20% fat. And I like a little fat with the beef because, beef because there's a little more flavor. I was going to make this recipe with uh, ground turkey. And I had my hand on the ground turkey. And I was putting it in the cart and I went, no, I just remembered. Ground turkey is awful. <laughs> I put it back. Oh, you mean taste awful? Yeah, it's just so boring. It, so. It's pretty. Uh, yeah. And this is really close to something else we made, but we're using it in a different application today. All right, let's take a look at that first picture. All right, the first picture is a beautiful toasted or grilled caprese sandwich. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And you can see the Sam logo in the back there, which is uh, what we required. required all the photo takers to do. Basil. Good texture. See a little cheese melting out. Yep. Nice crispy. Looks toasted. Does it look toasted? You know, no, I it's think it's grilled. It's, it's grilled. It's grilled. It's grilled. Like, yeah, that's, gotcha. that's butter marks on the top. And then next. Looks nice. You can go next, yeah. All right, cool. Next picture is a pastrami and jack cheese. Wow. Uh-huh. And look at that one's right on the cast iron uh, pan. You can see the grill lines. Love the cheese melting through the front on the bottom onto the skillet. It looks oh. almost processed to me in the back, no? It's just me? Processed? Like, look at the sandwich. What are you talking back. about, Willis? like kind of... Blurry. Oh no, it just looks like a little it's you know, they didn't print out an H D logo. <laughs> no, 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 not that. It's I'm not saying it's fake, it just it looks funny because like if you look Sounds around, like you're saying it's fake. Pull it a little closer. If you look around the edges of the top of the sandwich, it's like blurry essentially. It looks like someone photoshopped that out and threw it on there. Someone photoshopped you think the, the logo, what, the was logo? photoshopped onto it? I'm thinking the sandwich photoshopped on that picture. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, so like it was just a... Uh, but look at the cheese melting in the front. It's like a perfect little pool at the bottom. Actually, can you pull? Can you pull back so we can see if that cheese is on the spatula? It is. Yes. I'm almost. Hey, I can't see. From whoever here, just, sent this picture, yeah. I want to see like your original file. I'm but Lynn, look suspect. at the shadow, Lynn. Look at the shadow on the uh, spatula. Yeah. It's not the spatula. Look at the top of the sandwich. Look at the. No, I definitely there. see what you mean at the top. It looks like. But that just looks like it was almost just cured. Like it was just messed with like the contrast or the sharpness. And I, I, mean, look, after. I, I totally believe the guy cooked it or the girl cooked it. It's just... What, what, the, so what are the you the saying background, If I can move my mouse without disturbing this photo, yeah. this background right here is not natural at all. I can see what you mean. And then yeah. right here, you see right here? That's like a slightly... And right here, it I'll looks like in. someone like used a brush to like air it out. What? Oh. You see this? Hmm. You see this? This right here? Oh, yeah. I see so that. it looks like someone like cut and paste this photo onto a different background. So what are you saying? Are you saying that somebody took... Somebody's cheating. I think this... And then this handle back here is pretty sharp. This logo isn't as sharp, which means that it has... And then there's like hardly any... The depth of field doesn't work right 
I, mean, unless, oh. I don't know. Unless I. By the way, somebody, oh. somebody's hating you right somebody's now. Somebody's just got caught red handed. They just got booked. No, I want to be proven wrong. I want to be proven wrong. Whoever I, takes this photo, I want to be proven wrong. I'm inclined to believe Lynn now. It just looks funny to me, and I would like to think that my eyes are pretty good now. I don't want to be like. But then if, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know? Okay, so I think if it was photoshopped in there, then the spatula is part of whatever photo was attached to that sandwich. Yeah, right. Here, okay. Everybody better be going to facebook.com slash send the cooking guide to let us know okay, well, wait a what sec. your opinion is on this because okay, I'm super interested on what everybody else Well, thinks. so now what do we do? Now do we let that live there with with the most Chief, what do you expert think? of all photographers in here calling it a fake? Yeah, I, don't I, know. I, I want someone to come clean and tell me what that blurry background is. So I, I don't I, understand I mean, what I it know is. The, I, I know the person who sent it to me. And I want to be proven wrong. I want to be proven picture, wrong. So the last one, the, they actually sent me, I think, two pictures before in the first round, and they were both great, and neither of those looked photoshopped at all. I'm just confused. It, I, you know what? I'm confused. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for sure. Hey, I just forgot I wanted to do something. Yeah? I wanted to cook some onions first. So why doesn't Shannon come over here? We can start cooking. I just turn that down for a second. I can correct my mistake. Why I'm so forgetful lately, I can't believe it. I think you're nervous because the rabbi's here, sir. I don't think Oh, I'm man. Nervous. It's okay, so we <laughs> will uh, run the intro? Yes. Let's cook something. So weird cutting an onion like this. One of these. I'm, I'm legitimately thrown now by this picture thing. I feel a little bit betrayed. Well, Max. I mean, I picked this person. Do we have? Do we have any I way? Draw of... them along. You're I mean, very gullible. Hey, these days. Whoa there. It all started seven months ago. With Look. Pet okay, shop. so someone on Facebook <laughs> said. I need eleven months. All right. Can I read a Facebook comment? Yes. Right? Please. So, yes. So, yes. Uh, Dana says possible explanation someone photoshopped out the background leaving the foreground I could if it was cluttered and they wanted to like blur the background hmm. yes let me put it this way I'd There's rather have it be cluttered than have it look like Fake. you did a brush like you know like a brush job over the back because I don't think it looks you know convincing now so Richard says yeah it looks like a process depth of field which right. is kind of like what I was saying right yeah, it could be okay so that's what I'm saying I think the, the shot looks legitimate like it, the sandwich part of it but well, yeah, but but here's the deal. If yes, the sandwich is legitimate, but what if this whole sandwich shot, including the spatula, was lifted from some site? Mm. I have to say, can I say something? Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's that great a shot that it would have been lifted. Am I right? Oh. Well, like, if you were going to lift something, wouldn't you lift, like, the most amazing shot? All right, well, Ryan has come out on Facebook to say that it was him, uh, so it doesn't matter that we reveal the name. So it was Ryan Dwyer's post, fi Ryan Dwyer's photo, and he says that he posted the original. Well, so. wait, I want to address something on Facebook, so don't, don't be hating. So Heidi says, are you kidding me? That last picture was my brother's, and you're going to say he photoshopped it, and that's lame. Get your facts together. He blurred out the background. Yeah, you really, the Lynn. Wall. Get wait, your hang, facts wait, together. Wall, hang on, hang on. Let me let me clarify Lynn that. Lynn was totally right. You blurred out the background so you couldn't see their wall. That's an element of like a Photoshop or like altering the picture. That's what I mean by Photoshop. I don't mean he actually used a program per se. Yeah. But he altered the image, which is why I'm like I'm sure the sandwich is legit, but that's it doesn't look legitimate because of that. No, that's what Lynn was. Yes, Lynn. Lynn. Yes. Boys, Lynn was correct. Let's look. <laughs> let's just call. Let's just say what you were saying. You were suspicious because you thought the thing was fake. Is that correct? I was suspicious not? because the image looked like it was altered. Yeah, we'll pull up the image again. We'll take a look. So Lynn, it was noticed, a good a, eye. Lynn noticed a little it bit something was, weird. It definitely was a good eye. He thought that maybe that might mean that it represented a fake, but in reality it was just to blur the background. Which is fine, but I think you should disclose that in a photo contest. It's just my opinion but we didn't really have many rules for this thing. You're right. We didn't say there could be no touching up afterwards. Okay, so see what I'm doing? I just wanted a little more onion in here. Okay. I still haven't said what I'm making yet. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, please. I'm making... Uh, I'm making... Uh, what am I making, Shannon? Um, <laughs> no idea. I'm making uh, Asian Sloppy Joes. There we go. I've made Sloppy Joes here before. And I was thinking about what I wanted to make, and I wanted to make some kind of Asian-y comfort food, something that was simple and clearly didn't have any bacon in it. 
He says it with such disdain. <laughs> There's no disdain. <laughs> and so that's that's where the idea came from. So, so I would have cooked the onion first. I could have thrown the onion in with the beef. It all would have cooked fine at the same time. So now here's what we do. We just we cook this down a little bit more. You know when we make your shepherd's pie, we don't put bacon on it. Instead, yep. we put curry in the meat. You put curry in the meat. Yes. Really good. Oh, that oh, sounds nice. great, actually. Sounds very, like, straight from England, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to let the, I'm going to let the seasoning sauces that I put in here season it. I'm not going to add salt and pepper. If I needed to at the end, I could. But so here we go. This is good. We don't need too much more. We've got the onion going. This is great. This is almost done. You get liquid, you know, the less fat, um, the less liquid you're going to have. So 20% fat is going to give you a little bit of liquid. This is now done. See, there's, it's the pink just left, and now you're fine. Let's see what liquid we've got here. We'll get that out. Don't, you don't have to cook it. Beyond, once that little bit of pink leaves it, mm -hmm. you don't have to continue to cook it. it all you're going to do at that point is just dry it. Yeah. So just let me let that set. You see? I'm just going to let the liquid run down there for a second. I don't want the liquid. And so then you're just going to pour it out? Then I'm just going to pour it out, yeah. The onions are done. I'm going to throw the onions in there. And I'm going to throw in the other stuff. So here's what the other stuff is. Walk back slowly, Shannon. Is. Is. I got it. I got it. Nobody yes. worry. Nobody worry. Nobody worry. Is <laughs> soy. Uh, a little bit of rice vinegar for just a little, little, you know, sloppy joes and that kind of stuff have that little tang. Oh yeah. Poison. Oh shoot. Gosh. I'm forgetting everything today. I can't believe it. Sammy, you forgot to wear your tushy today. Oh no. Oh. What? <laughs> I didn't, why do you, why do you do that to me, Kel? <laughs> I come from a family, nobody in my family has an ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for, <laughs> sorry, Max. And by the way, it's genetic. <laughs> I'm not alone. I know there's other people with the same affliction. <laughs> All right, I, knew, I meant to put garlic in. <sighs> what is with you today? I don't know, I'm really, really not very much. Don't you usually write it on your wall? Do we not have that today? I don't have it today. Maybe yeah. that's why then. And I'm going to put some ginger in too. So, just the sides off the ginger. We've done this before. So, people, we are going to be posting that picture, the two pictures. I feel really or bad for that guy. On. Who was that guy? I don't what was his name? Ryan. There's no reason to feel bad. We were just wait, wait, we were wait. Just wondering. I feel okay. bad. We I feel like wait. saying anybody sucks or is they're stupid. I feel anything. really bad for what you and Lynn did to him. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn just put him on blast. That was Poor really guy. Mean, Way to go, Lynn. Hey, I'm going to put it this way, man. It looked wrong to me. No one's background looks like that. And if he photo blurred out the background, I mean, and he let us know, like, hey, like, it was cluttered. I touched it up a little bit. Is that okay? We looked at the picture. Yeah, it's fine. But for the most part, you know, like, if if this is a competition like we say it is, like, I want you to put your best, like, you're going to Photoshop. You might as well put your best effort into it. And Ryan, like, honestly, dude, like, it looks weird to me. So if it, and it looks you know weird what, to Lynn? a lot of other Facebook people, too. Lynn, like, yeah. hold your ground. No, I think what Lynn Even is saying. Even if everybody hates you, Lynn, you hold your Lynn ground. Lynn is saying that he could have just cleared that out the background. That's the point of the contest, to do your best. And then rather than blur, you could have just cleared it out. This is clearly not <laughs> sitting well with Lynn. I can see. I He's think, I look, I think the sandwich it. looks great. But in, in my mind, it's like. If if you're gonna enter a contest and you're gonna blur out something that makes the picture look better or worse, I mean, at least well, you can use give us a heads up. It's a good thing you're not voting, isn't it? I'm not voting. It's it's up to the Facebook pop to vote. Not that you haven't contaminated the entire listening audience <laughs> with your. Hey, you know what? A lot of people vote on your Facebook page theory. that don't that are not watching the show right now. That's so true. we'll let so we'll Maxie, let the photo speak for itself. You're gonna put those up after. Okay, so look, the liquid's out. Look how much liquid came out. Wow. That's quite a lot, wow. right? Not the best looking liquid either. It's horrible right. looking liquid. But I bet it's got a lot of good flavor and you're losing all of that right now. Sam, do you know what larb is? Larb? Larb. larb. You're a larb. Hi, larb. 
No. What Kathy is, is asking if this Asian sloppy Joe is like Thai larb. I don't know what larb is. It's Lynn, can we get a Google Thai search? Thai national dish. Larb. We're getting a Google search right now. It sounds like something nasty. Doesn't larb I know I've heard. I know a type I've heard of before. Lao minced meat salad that is regarded as the national oh. dish of Lao. Okay, so here's this ginger and garlic. I'm gonna huck in here. Sam, you ever use powdered ginger or anything? Uh, I don't like it. I don't. I think that's one of those things that you can't substitute. I haven't heard the term "huck" in so long. It's Canadian because you haven't heard no, it since you were. I, when we were kids, it used to be probably like, oh, since you were at camp. Huck okay, watch. Ball. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna huck that in there. Give it a little oil. Go let it get. Yourself. Let it get fragrant. Fragrant. Larry says, so Lynn is saying that the photo is the Lance Armstrong of the live cast photo contest. <laughs> oh, yeah. <that's laughs> oh, Hashtag <man>. tainted. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Lance. <laughs> wow, that smells really great from here, by the way. Yeah, Do we think that Oprah's... Wait, did he already go on Oprah? Yeah, they recorded it today. It airs on Thursday. Thursday. So is she going to shame him or what? I didn't, would Oprah no, ever shame anybody? The he book should be guy. shaming what do you himself. Mean, the book yeah. guy. She shamed the hell out of the book guy. Oh, she did. The yeah. book guy who the guy who lied. Oh, that guy. No, 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 no. That guy lied right to her face. I don't care. This guy lied to the whole world's face dozens of times. It doesn't matter. Oh my God! I wish you were here right now. I can smell it all the Shannon, way back is here. This amazing. So amazing. And I'm still just getting over my cold and my flu and my bronchitis. Smells so good. I'm actually quite a saint for being here tonight. Honestly, <laughs> I shouldn't be here. Hey, uh, Dad, Robin Coloma on Facebook is loving your uh, choice of dish. She says, "LOL, Asian sloppy joes. I guess Mexican kung pao chicken is next." <laughs> Do it. Yeah, <laughs> I bet you'll be good. Chicken. All right. So there you go. This is this. Shannon, back up really fast. Oh, sorry, sorry, looking? sorry. We need a cord wrangler. We do. <laughs> Sam, did you get a flu shot? Sauce. No. No, and the re sauce the paste. Sauce paste. Sauce paste. of that. So, tomato sauce. But the second that I came down with this, Kelly went out and got one. I know. I think I'm going to now. I've been trying to get one. Every place I go, they're out. Really? I've been to like six different places. Well, that's, oh, that's because right now everyone's sick here in California. <laughs> okay, tomato sauce. I don't know how much of it I want. Okay, I've not made these before. <laughs> okay, this is good. I might want more. <laughs> At and, least it smells good. And now, and now hoisin, which we've used this before in a similar application. I say it's kind of like kind of like a thick sort of a Chinese barbecue sauce. It's really great. This comes from a regular supermarket. You don't have to go to, you know, a specialty Asian market for this. That brand is like the Heinz of the Asian world. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of. Okay, so that's bubbling away. Uh, some soy. That much, I don't know how much that was. And a little uh, rice vinegar for the little bit of tang that we're asking for in this. Mm. And now we're gonna see how this is gonna do. Wow. That looks so good. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Becky writes, a Jewish saint? Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> what, what, do, what does that mean? <laughs> you just said oh, that you were a saint. Well, let's ask the rabbis. What would the better version be? A Jewish? Sadiq. Sadiq. <laughs> you get your terms straight, sir. Exactly. A Jewish Sadiq. Which do, is me. Do we need... Um, we need to taste this, though. Do we need buns getting going? Oh, yeah, 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 we do. But I got a couple minutes. I'm just trying to make sure you I'm don't gonna, forget. No, not to worry. Hey, Car or, uh, hey Shannon, Carrie Vetter says they're giving the flu shot at CVS in Sarah Mesa. Oh, Shannon can't hear me. Oh. <laughs> Carrie Vetter says they're giving the flu shot at CVS in in uh, Sierra Mesa. Is there a sign out front? Or Kelly just got one in? at our Vons, Shannon. Today? I the know day. the day I was picking up Sam's no. prescription. Yeah, I, went, I, I panicked. called my, my Albertsons and they said they had shots in. So I went in that evening. They said they sold out within like two hours. Wow. Yeah, that's why I did it because I wasn't even going in wow. expecting to get it. But all of a sudden everybody was rushing and pushing. And I'm what? like, oh God, really? Wow. I get it. Crazy. By the way, yes. 
I'm taking fresh spoons to check this. In case anybody's worried okay, at good. all. Are you sure that's not the spoon I use for my coffee? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I put that in the dishwasher. Okay, you know what it needs? What? Mm. Bacon? No bacon. <laughs> oh, sriracha. Need some sriracha. There we go. Wow, man, that looks, that looks great. <laughs> I was gonna say for, for throwing everything together, man, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll turn this on. And while this is heating, and there's only one bun that I would ever consider using. Hawaiian rolls. Oh, yes. Of course, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, watch this. They're pretty little, though. Can I have a couple? You can have a couple, Cal. Um, okay, here, this. Nanette is asking if you had fun in Vegas. I did. I did have fun in Vegas. Oh, will you show that picture? Oh, I posted, yeah. I posted only one picture of... My of uh, from inside one of the cabs I took. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, Cash nice, only. Huh? And then you just got that beautiful pool view at the win and. I mean, look at <laughs> that. Was where it was. I was at the hotel at Mandalay Bay, which is it, which nice is hotel. a really nice hotel, right? It's the it's the, the non casino side of what they do. Mm -hmm. There's no slot machines. It's quiet. It's lovely. It's reserved. It's actually darker down the hallway when you get there. You walk through the Mandalay Bay down this long, dark, elegant sort of hallway to the hotel, and mm -hmm. it's very nice. Have you been to uh, Encore where they have windows in the casino? No. Yeah, it's crazy. That the is one crazy. casino on the strip, I believe, that has windows that you can see out most of the time. But that bucks as everything. Knows, that they, bucks every concept. No, I know. Of, as everybody knows, they keep you blind to what time of day it literally, is. Literally, in the, literally so in the dark. Just, yeah, you just sit there and play. So this you don't means, gamble at all, do you? I don't gamble. Uh, I've gambled actually uh, twenty bucks of myself one day sitting at a, um, a, a roulette lounge table, right? bar in the hotel. We were just sitting there one night and talking, and you know, you're right in front of those. Like this is the counter, and there's one of those machines right there. Uh -huh. So I threw a twenty, and I did that, and then your cousin Mark texted me 20 bucks on black mm -hmm. so i would have ha i had to hey do you remember and I lost. do you remember what happened when we were leaving vegas um maybe about two years ago after nab and we were in the airport oh and you were like uh we're wait we're just oh. killing time waiting yeah. for our flight and he puts a uh, dollar or five bucks into a slot machine the only time the only gambling he did the whole weekend pulls it wins 250 bucks just like that <laughs> just in the five minutes before our flight <laughs> That's how you get addicted, sir. <laughs> you know what? I didn't put any more money in. No, he didn't. I was definitely leaving. I was definitely leaving a winner. Okay, we're almost there. This is hot. This is good. You need something? I need. I just feel like I need just a little bit more green onion. You know? More green onion. Well, there can never be enough. Here's the thing, Shan. Look how much is there. That's <laughs> true. I mean, look how much of that of the sloppy joes there, and there has to be there has to be just a really great ratio of green to sloppy. You know how I like to eat my sloppy joes? I crumble up potato chips and put it on top in between the bun. It gives it like Do a you? crunchy taste. Yeah. I don't like that. Okay, here we go. Now look. Now we're talking. So now this green onion can go like this. Watch, Shannon. A big giant handful here. And then we'll just finish off with this. So are you throwing that in as garnish or flavor? No, that's going in right now. This thing's finished, really. Watch, I can kill that. I've never actually seen you do that. Throw it in like that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, because I, I got a little something else for garnish. Oh, I'm okay. using what we refer to in the business as Chinese parsley. What is Chinese parsley? Don't, don't answer, Lynn. You know? <laughs> I do know. Nobody? No, nobody. Chinese parsley. Cilantro. Cilantro. Thank you, oh, Shannon. Becky got Shannon? that, and she's from Ohio. <laughs> so I thought cilantro is, is not, not a Mexican word. Or a Spanish word. That was stupid, sorry. <laughs> a Mexican word, yes. No, it's 
No, it's cilantro. It's cilantro. Chinese people don't it use parsley. Me, that's why. What's the other oh. word for cilantro? I don't. I mean, Chinese coriander? parsley. No, <laughs> coriander. Just Shannon just oh. got both of them right off the bat, <laughs> and oh. she's from a part of the world where they're not supposed to know. They're not supposed to know anything about this stuff. Because I've worked with you a lot these past five years. That's, that's good. True, oh, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one bun right here. Unnecessary spot. Let me say while I'm doing this, we love our sponsors, Fixtures Living. They're there for us. It's a new year. They're there for us now. They have the most amazing stores for anything kitchen, bath, or outdoor that you would want. If you're thinking about making any changes in your home, before I would do that, to my kitchen, to my bath, to my outside entertaining areas, I would go to Fixtures. And I would check out what they would see. I would use them as my design house. Get ideas. Don't do the work yourself. Go there. They've already done the work. If you decide that you like them because they're nice people and you like the products and you like the way that they rent them, represent themselves, then you deal with them. That's how I imagine it's going to go. If you don't, then all you've done is gone there and gotten some great ideas for free. Haven't cost you anything. Fixtures Living on the internet, fixtureslivingcom Fixtures Living on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Fixtures Living. They have stores in Costa Mesa, San Diego, and Rancho Mirage, and they're super nice people. My in-laws were in town, so we went to Ailsmith. Oh, I saw that. So we went to Ailsmith first, and so since we were in the neighborhood, we took them to Fixtures. They loved it. They had never been to any store like that before. I mean, am I right? It's a great kind of store. Check them out. Okay, little bun comes in. Ooh, I'm hungry. And now, let me turn this guy off. And now some of this on top. And you know, they're meant to be... Sloppy. Sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> like this, right, Cal? Didn't we argue one day about how to eat these things? In one bite? No. <laughs> you use a fork, don't you? No, there should be no fork, correct? Right. Look how beautiful that is. Nice. May I? That's going to be really hot. There's no possible way this right. is not going to hurt. There's no way. Who cares? Who I do cares? this for you. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that scared me back here. Holy crap. <laughs> Pardon me, rabbis. Wow. That is really good. Can you taste? And sloppy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, make this. Maybe let it sit for a second. Maybe cook the onions first. Take your time. You don't have to rush like I do. Thanks for being here. We love that you watch the live cast. Tell your friends, go to iTunes. You can download so that you can set it up so that just when you plug all your junk in in the morning, it automatically pulls down any new shows that we posted. That's the way to do it. Right, Max? Yep. We'll be here Wednesday night. Hope you come back and hang out with us. Tell your friends, thanks for watching. Go Can eat I say one good. thing? Yes. Why do we have the back door open and the heat on? Well, because I was really hot earlier. I needed a little <laughs> okay. fresh air right That's at my desk. That's how we roll. Perfect. Love you guys. See ya.